Welcome back to Rambler Sports Locker. I'm RSL reporter Abby Saleo. After 50 years, the Chicago Bears may be saying goodbye to Soldier Field. RSL reporter Victoria Williams has more on their move to the suburbs. Does the Arlington Heights Bears have a nice ring to it? The Chicago Bears have signed a purchase agreement for Arlington International Racecourse, a move that takes the team one step closer towards securing property for a new stadium and leaving Soldier Field. On June 17th, the Bears submitted one of multiple bids to purchase the Arlington Heights property, which Churchill Downs Inc. announced would be up for sale last winter. Bears president and CEO Ted Phillips said in a statement that, quote, finalizing the agreement was the critical next step in continuing our exploration of the property and its potential, end quote. Soldier Field, which is owned by the Chicago Park District, holds 61,500 fans the smallest capacity in the NFL. The Bears also would be able to develop 326 acre property around the stadium with shopping, dining, and entertainment. Churchill Downs announced the sale price was $197.2 million and said it anticipated closing the sale in late 2022 or early 2023. For Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Victoria Williams. Thanks, Victoria. After a thrilling regular season, the White Sox are set to begin their playoff journey. The AL Central champions will face off against the Houston Astros in the ALDS. The series started Thursday afternoon at Minute Maid Park in Houston. The White Sox aren't the only Chicago team with a championship on their mind. The Chicago Sky defeated the Connecticut Sun 79-69 Wednesday night to move on to the WNBA Finals. This will be the team's first Finals appearance since 2014 and are looking to win their first ever WNBA championship. The Sky will face off against either the Phoenix Mercury or the Las Vegas Aces in the Finals beginning on October 10th. In exciting Rambler news, two Loyola soccer players have been nominated for a prestigious nationwide award. Here to tell you about them is RSL reporter Andrea Baroni. Two of Loyola's athletes have been selected as candidates for the 2021 Senior Class Award, which stands for celebrating loyalty and achievement for staying in school. To be selected for this award, student athletes must be NCAA Division I players and excel in the four areas of community, classroom, character, and competition. Out of the 60 candidates chosen, women's soccer senior Abby Swanson and men's soccer senior Billy Hensey have proven their skills on and off the field. Swanson, a United Soccer Coach's second team All-American, came through for the Ramblers with her game-winning goal in a tight match with Indiana State back in September. Last season, Hensey was named Missouri Valley Player and Midfielder of the Year and is currently ranked as the Valley's overall point leader and tied for the league lead in goals. The men and women up for this award will be narrowed down to 10 candidates later in the season, where a nationwide vote of media members, coaches, and fans will decide on which athletes will receive this award. The winners will be named during the 2021 NCAA Men's and Women's College Cup Championships this December. For Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Andrea Baroni. Thanks, Andrea. They aren't the only Ramblers who received honors over the past few weeks. Six Loyola athletes are now members of the Maroon and Gold Society. Bree Clifton and Abby Jacobson of softball, Simon Jilson of men's soccer, Olivia Orr and Jenna Rokita of women's cross country and track and field, and Chance Vissi of men's cross country and track and field. The Maroon and Gold Society chooses just 25 Loyola seniors every year based on their leadership, academic su success, and service to others. To stay up to date on all things Rambler sports, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Loyola RSL. From all of us here at Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Abby Saleo, and don't forget to turn out the lights. <laughs>